Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. A right circular cone of radius r and height h is cut by a plane parallel to its base at a height x above the base such that the volumes of the two resulting parts are equal. What is the value of x by h? So we start by drawing out the right circular cone and we basically have bc as the radius of the base and then ab is the height of the cone so a is the apex and then the radius bc that's given as r and the height ab so that's given as h so now we have a plane that's cutting the cone and this plane is parallel to the base so let that plane be represented by the dotted line and when it slices the cone basically two shapes are formed and it's noteworthy here that the shape at the top so that's basically another right circular cone right and we know that this plane is cutting the cone at a height x above the base right and so this would be essentially at a height of or at a distance of h minus x from the apex right and we also know that the radius of this smaller cone we don't know what its value is but we can assume that the radius of this smaller cone that is formed at the top is y and i'm basically representing the center of the base as d and then uh, the radius of the base as de so de is equal to y so drawing these different components is really essential for solving this problem so once we do this we can now apply some basic uh, you know geometry now if we consider the triangles ade and triangle abc so those are similar triangles it's pretty obvious right because the base you know the, the line that cut the cone that was parallel to the base so we basically have you know the the line de that should be parallel to line bc and so the two triangles that are created by a line you know that that cuts the two sides of the triangle and is parallel to the third side right so so those triangles should be so that triangle should be similar to the whole triangle so that's why triangle ade and triangle abc are similar that's pretty basic and we have the ratio of the corresponding sides of similar triangles should be equal so ad by de is equal to ab by bc and what is ad ad is h minus x what is de d is the radius y and what's ab ab is the height h and bc is the radius r of the original cone so this could be written as h minus x by y is equal to h by r and then we can simply write from this h minus x by h is equal to y by r and i'm writing this particular equation in red because i'll be referencing this later so now let's start with the volume of the bigger cone so so what's the volume of a cone of a right circular cone of radius r and height h well it's simply one third pi r square h and this is a formula that's worth remembering i know that in some standardized tests they actually supply you know some basic geometry and mensuration formula but it's worth remembering that the volume of a right circular cone of radius r and height h is going to be one third pi r square h 
So what about the volume of the smaller cone that's formed at the top? So that has a height of h minus x and radius of y. So knowing that a volume of a cone in terms of its radius r and height h is one third pi r squared h, we can write the volume of the smaller cone as one third pi y square because y is the radius of the smaller cone. And then its height is h minus a, x. So we can write the volume of the smaller cone as one third pi y squared h minus x. Now, since the plane is slicing the cone into two parts of equal volumes, we can basically write the volume of the original cone as two times the volume of the smaller cone. So that's where this equation comes from. And once we do that, one third pi gets cancelled out, right? And we are left with h divided by h minus x is equal to 2 y by r whole square. And now we are going to refer back to the equation that we earlier derived. So that's in red. So that's from the similarity of triangles ADE and ABC. So if we substitute y by r as h minus x by h, then we get this. So h divided by h minus x is equal to 2 multiplied by h minus x by h within parenthesis whole square. And then if I, you know, take all the h and x terms on one side, I'm basically left with h cube divided by h minus x whole cube is equal to 2. From this, we get that h minus a, h divided by h minus x is equal to cube root of 2. So these are all positive quantities, so I did not worry about any other potential roots, any negative roots. So I just considered the positive root, and I'm good to go from here. So this enables us to express x in terms of h. It's pretty simple. And finally, we basically get x by h is equal to cube root of 2 minus 1 divided by cube root of 2. So going through all the options, the correct option will be the option D.